Well, hi, Teacher Dave. How are you doing? Hi, Teacher Jane. I'm doing nice well. How are you? you? It's good to see you, too. It's nice to be here at Club, such as it is. Yeah. Cubbies, it's nice to hi, not see you all, but I'm glad that you're able to see us. I hope that you're having fun doing your uh, Cubbies Club with us this year, even though it's a little bit different. Um, we're going to start off our time like we always do, which is saying our Pledge of Allegiance. So, if you're home with your mom and dad, you can stand up. You can put your right hand over your heart. Find a flag if you've got one at home, or you can look at the one on your screen and say your pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job, Cubbies. And then we're going to sing our Cubby song. Hopefully you've learned this. It's on your CD in your book, so your mom and dad can help you learn it if you don't know it yet. But we're going to sing it right now. We, we are the one of Cubbies. We're happy all day long. We know that Jesus loves us. That's why we sing this song. We hop because we're happy and we jump and shout for joy. For Jesus is a friend to us. He loves each girl and boy. All right, good job, Cubbies. And now we're going to review the two things we review every week. I hope you're doing this at home with your mom and dad, and maybe you can say it with me. We're going to say our cubby motto first. What is our cubby motto, if I cover it up? Yell it out at home if you know it. What is our cubby motto? It's Jesus loves me. You can sign it with me too. Jesus loves me. That's our cubby motto, and that's what it's all about here, cubbies. Jesus loved us died on the cross for our sins, and we want to love him and honor him because of that. And our cubby key verse, who knows what that is? Oh, I better cover it up. Our cubby key verse is 1 John 4, 10. God loved us and sent his son. And we do sign language for this too. So practice this with me at home, boys and girls. God loved us and sent his son. We say Jesus. This means Jesus for his son. God loved us and sent his son. 1 John 4, 10. Now you want to sing it with me? Here we go. God, God loved, loved us and, and sent his son. God loved us and sent his son. God loved us and sent his son. 1 John 4, 10. Good job. God loved us and sent his son. God loved us and sent his son. God loved us and sent his son. First John 4, 10. Good job, boys and girls. We're going to keep practicing those every week because we want to learn those truths that God loved us and sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. I hope also that you're going through your lessons in your book. Your parents can be reading them with you. You can be saying your verses. Make sure you're recording those verses and sending them in to Teacher Jane so that we can give you credit for it. All right? Thanks, boys and girls. Have a good week. Well, hello, Cubbies. We are so glad to be able to be back with you. I have not seen Cubby Bear around anywhere, so I'm wondering if maybe you can help me to call him out. Why don't we do this? Why don't we count to five, and then we'll all yell out, Hey, Cubby, come on out. You guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, Cubby Bear, come on out! Cubby? Are, are, are you looking for something, Cubby Bear? Yeah, Mr. Brock, I, I'm looking for my family! Yeah, well, let's get you up here, Cubby Bear. Maybe you just need to kind of be able to see around a little bit more. All right, look, look around the room. Let me, do you see him anywhere here? Mr. Brock, I, I don't see him anywhere. I don't see him anywhere. Hmm. Well, Can the boys and tell... girls help me look for him? Well, why don't you tell us a little bit more about your family, and then maybe we, all of us can help you kind of look for them. What, what do they look like? Oh, wow. There they are, right there. Well, Cubby Bear, I, I can see that they have uh, brown fur, like, like yeah, you. Yeah, they look just like me! Yeah, and they got, they got black eyes just like you. Yeah, they're black! Wow. They are very, good, cool very good-looking family here, Cubby Bear. But I, I don't know, boys and girls. Have you seen, have you seen Cubby Bear's family around here anywhere? You know, that's just a picture back and forth yeah. of what I think my family. Oh, that's look what you like. think they look like? Well, yeah, they, I mean, they look almost identical to you, Cubby Bear. But I, I have not seen them anywhere, and I don't think any of the other boys and girls have, have seen them around anywhere. I wish we could help you out, Cubby Bear. Are there, 
Are there any other animals on the farm, maybe that that kind of maybe look like this, or maybe kind of kind of look look like look like you that might be a part of your family? I don't care. Timothy, I got friends on the all over the farm. Mm hmm. Yeah, like which ones? Which animals look like you? Kitty and Mumford. She's got pointy ears and whiskers. She says she can't be part of my family. No, but she does kind of look a little bit likely. But yeah, she's very different. She's very different. She's not quite like you, but she's got brown fur like you. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry, Cubby Bear. But any other, any other animals on the farm, maybe? You know what, Pastor Park? I talked with Mr. Chuck. You know, the woodchuck. The woodchuck, the of woodchuck course. Wood. Yeah. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? <laughs> Or could, could chuck wood. <laughs> yeah, you know that one, Cubby Bear? <laughs> <laughs> you alright? You alright? I'm not sure I know that one. You don't know that one? No, but the woodchuck, he's got brown fur and okay. white eyes. Alright. And he even likes apples. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but his family lives in holes on the farm. Yeah. Mine is near my favorite apple tree. Mmm, gotcha, gotcha. Well, yeah, that's definitely not that's definitely not you. And yeah. you know, the, the boys and girls out there, I mean, you know, they don't look like you, but they do. Most of them do have vests, though, like you do. You're I wonder, right. I wonder if your family wear all wears vests. Does your family all wear vests? <laughs> they are cubby vests. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, the boys and girls out there are, and the boys and girls have their vests on, so you've got that in common. Yeah. And you know what? One other thing, Cubby Bear. What Pastor? You want to know what? All of the boys and girls out there, including me, we love you very much, Cubby Bear. And even though we may not be your family members, we still love you very much. Oh, thanks, everybody. No, you're I'm welcome. so glad I have good friends like you. Yep, it is very nice to have good friends. God has been very kind to put friends around us that care yeah. for us and love us and encourage us, even when our family's not around. Right, Cubby Bear? Yeah, I don't see my family anymore. I'm like, yeah. you know what? I think I'll check the barn before I go to bed. All right. I think the barn would be a great place to look around. Maybe they'll maybe they'll be by the honey tree. Do you ever yeah. take a look around there? Yeah, I'll look around there. All right. Yeah. Can, can we sing the alphabet song? You want to sing the alphabet song? Let's do the letter. All right. Boys and girls, you want to sing the alphabet song with us? I do. I do. All right. We'll I like you. Well, well, please, Cubby, then. We're going to go ahead and we're going to sing the alphabet song, and we're going to sing up to E. And remember, okay. when we get to E, we're going to stop just like that. All right, Cubby, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E. Wow, that was fun. That was really good. I didn't hear anything. Boys and girls, excellent job. Excellent job out there. Yeah, I didn't hear anything either. Yeah. Well, maybe because they're on the other side of the camera. But hey, it's all right. We didn't hear it. But you know, we do have some animals that start with the letter E. Well, An eel. there's one with ears that are way bigger than yours, Cubby Bear. Wow, ear. Ears. Ears. ears start with that, but that's not what the kind of animal. This animal's got really big ears, though. Really big ones? Really big. And he's really big. Hey, electric what do you think? eel. <laughs> electric eel. No, that is not it. It is an elephant, Cubby Bear. Wow. Elephant starts right, with the letter E. Walk. And you know what else starts with the letter E? What starts with the letter E? I. I start I with like your eye. I know it sounds like an I, but it's actually spelled the I that you look through here. It actually starts with an E. As does the word eagle. Wow. What do eagles do, Cubby Bear? Do they fly all over the place? Yeah, they fly everywhere, Cubby Bear. Flap, flap your wings a little yeah. bit. And we also oh, have God. eggs. Eggs start with the letter eggs. E. Yeah. You yeah. like eggs? I do like eggs. They're very yummy. Yeah, they're kind of pretty. Yeah, they're pretty. I like those eggs. But all of those start with the letter E, and that, that's good stuff. But now why don't we go over our verse, Cubby Bear? You want to go over our verse today? Okay, Pastor Brock! All right, here it is, Cubby Bear and Cubbies. It's found in Ephesians 6.1, and this is what it says. It says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. I know that one! I know that one! Well, God wants us to obey our parents, Cubby Bear. Yeah, children! Yeah, he doesn't want us grumbling. He doesn't want us complaining. He doesn't want us going, oh. He wants us to obey our parents. It's right, and it's pleasing to the Lord, right? Yeah. All right, Cubby Bear. Well, hey, I think it's right now. we got to say goodbye to these Cubbies, and you got to go home and go look for your family, all right? Bye-bye, Cubbies. We'll see you all next week. Bye, Cubby. Bye,